Hi there, Jason McMillan with Keep Calm and Train the Rookie. Uh, going to do a quick video here. Just recently we've posted about the uh, 27th anniversary of the death of Firefighter John Nance. If uh, you do some research on it, look at that particular line of duty death incident along with a couple others. It is uh, groundbreaking the fire service. What we know as RIT uh, operations uh, kind of was based out of that and a couple other line of duty deaths. One of the things that they developed is something called the Nance drill that involves rope. Uh, there's a lot of different methods how you can, uh, you can complete that drill. My department, we cheat. Uh, you have a firefighter whose life's in trouble, we don't play fair. So each of our three truck companies have what's called a rip rope. This thing is pre-rigged. Uh, I'm going to show you how you build one. I don't have a truck company here with me today, and so I'm going to use a life safety rope off of an engine company. That rope is a little bit longer than the 100 foot rope that we use on the truck. However, manufacturing the rope is the same way. We don't do any real measurements. We don't need a tape measure. We just need at least a 100 foot rope, half inch kern mantle, and two carabiners. And I'll show you another little option too that's cheap and easy to do. So we'll start right here. I got two ends of the rope. Firefighter Blazer is going to hold on to that end. And I'm going to go and grab this rope until I get the midpoint of the rope. I'm going to walk it back. So I'll have two ends and then the midpoint of the rope here is Blazer's hand. Fletcher's just going to simply hold on to the rope, keep those like such. If you look here, I now have two bites of rope here on the end. I'm going to go bring them up here and we're going to tie them off. I'm going to use a figure eight to a bite. Attach a carabiner. Do the same thing on the other side. Another option that you can do is go and find yourself an old bicycle inner tube, cut you off some one inch pieces. I'll show you what that's for. Take that one inch piece, take the working bite of your knot here, and stretch this over, like so. Clip your carabiner where it's in this orientation and roll that little piece of inner tube up against it. Notice it always remains in the same orientation, ready to work, as opposed to this, it can get flipped around, now that was backwards. Remember, this is a writ scenario, I'm in gear, I'm stressed out, it's bad environmental conditions around me, okay? This is good, this is better, but not required. Okay, now we're just gonna stuff this in the bag, those that Bletcher's kept a hold of these pieces, there's a reason behind that. I'm going to set the two bites aside. We're just going to take this and keep these four strands of rope together and stuff them in the bag. Just hold the bag. Nothing fancy, I'm not pulling, I'm just shoving.
leave these car two carabiners just poking out the top, and draw the bag closed. To deploy the rope, we're going to pretend this is the hole where I'm going to go down and get the firefighter. I've sent the firefighter down. To deploy the rope, I simply pay out what I need down at the bottom. They connect this, the two ends, either to an SCDA harness that's been converted to uh, an emergency rescue harness or even a hasty harness. I have four separate strands of rope, I can get four firefighters at a minimum all lifted. Thanks for watching. We encourage you to get out, get hands on, leave any comments down below. Thank you.